Today we're in Taipei, Taiwan. Taipei, Taiwan. And uh, right now we're at Yelyu Geopark. This is a spot that is uh, north of Taipei. It's uh, at the northern tip of Taiwan. And here they have these crazy, crazy rocks. Do you like the king and queen rocks? And we're going to be exploring them today. Yeah, that, that's this is our first stop. We're going to do uh, sites uh, tour around in and around Taipei. This is our first stop, Yelyu Jia Park. All right, let's check it out. This is the cute princess. It's right at the entrance as you, uh, on your first left, have these little rock formations that kind of look like mushroom caps all around. This is really neat. I'm not sure which one exactly is the cute princess. Probably the one in the middle there, or that one. Let's go take a look. Now if I had to take a guess, I would say that this right here is the cute princess right behind me, just because it's the most unique rock formation of them all. The other ones just look like mushroom caps, all of them. This one looks a little different, you can see. Looks like maybe the top is kind of like a crown or something like that. You're just here with the open sea at your back and this is just like, it just feels so relaxing. The sound of the water and the waves here with, uh, with the rock formation and the fisherman village behind you. This is beautiful, very nice, very charming. <sighs> All right, so I have the queen's head right, where is it? There it is, right there. This is the, uh, the main attraction of, uh, of this area. I'm not exactly sure why they call it a queen set. Maybe it's on the other side. Now I think there's uh, people on the other side that are taking pictures, so maybe it looks more like a queen set. Here it just looks like uh, kind of like a deformed piece of rock to me. But uh, it yeah, it's probably on the other side. It's really cool looking. It has like a very thin middle, so it's kind of cool how that very kind of like thick and uh, and kind of big head is resting on that thin middle. And uh, it, yeah, it's very cool looking. Now, it could be wrong because my map just blew in the wind, but that looks like the dragon formation right above there. So it's either a dragon or a horse, but I don't think I saw any horse formations. I think it's just dragon, so I think that's it right there. Definitely looks like a bit of a dragon, doesn't it? With the eye and everything. Super cool. So right behind the dragon formation they have this kind of like mini cafeteria to get some refreshments which are badly needed right now because it's super hot, super sweaty today here in Taiwan. So we're gonna get some refreshments. That hits the spot. The next destination is Jufen. Jufen is a small village on the mountains here in the northeast of Taiwan, east of Taipei. It's quite packed, there's a lot of tourists here, but that's not why it's cool. It's cool because it has a lot of tea houses and it's very old, very traditional feel. And this is the entrance right here. Let's go in. Spice bubble tea right here. Like Bailey's and it goes really well together. It's like a perfect harmony. Now one of the things that they seem to have all around here is this meatball soup. I thought it was actually a fish ball soup, but it's a meatball soup. It's these little balls that come in this kind of light broth. There's three different meatballs in there. We have this nice big ball, and it looks like it has carrots in there, maybe some green onions, maybe a bit of garlic. And it kind of looks like a wonton, but kind of not at the same time. Mm. 
That's a very light broth, a little garlicky and a little salty. All right, let's try it. That's really good. It's really, really springy, really soft and really springy at the same time. And it's kind of like the filling in a wonton. The first one was just like, a, you know, like a solid dumpling. This one has a filling in the middle in there. So uh, it's the same exterior, but it has a filling. So I just took a little bite, but I didn't taste the middle. Let's try the middle. That's really nice. And it's a little crunchy. Maybe there's some fish eggs in there. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's really good. All right, so we got these uh, steamed dumplings as well. The style here in the mountains, it's kind of like a country style. So they use a lot of cabbage. And so if, if uh, I were to predict anything, I would say pork and cabbage. Let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, that's like a really soft gyoza. Mm. And much juicier. Well, that's really good, really good. And it is pork and cabbage. Like I said, maybe some onions in there as well. Oh. Can I see you up there? And I do too. So I'm trying ice cream doriaki. It's basically two pancakes with ice cream in the middle. And I chose the taro, but you can try mint, um, chocolate, vanilla, red bean, all kinds of things. Brain freeze. Mmm, <laughs> that is really good though. Actually, I don't know if that's taro. It kind of tastes like strawberry to me. Maybe. I thought it smelled like strawberry. Maybe he gave me the strawberry one, honestly. I don't know. Mm. Strawberry. Strawberry? It kind of reminds me of when you go to the 7 Eleven and you have the pancakes that you can buy that are pre made. It kind of tastes like that, but fresh. With ice cream in the middle, too, if that makes sense. This is the peanut ice cream roll. So you can see that she rolled all of that peanut and, and she put some ice cream on it and it basically looks like a burrito. Mm, wow, it's filled with that peanut brittle, super crunchy, really nice. That ice cream is just very lightly flavored, but I think that cilantro really gives it a nice little freshness kick to it. And now we're in Shin Fan. Now look at this, this is very nice, very peaceful here. It's uh, kind of rural and there's like bamboo trees and palm trees and stuff and there was a little shack on the road. Uh, you see there's a little train track behind us and very nice and peaceful. Away from the hustle and bustle of our last destination. So what's cool about this place is that you can buy uh, lanterns and you can make them fly just like in the movie Tangled when it's Rapunzel's birthday. So check this out. See that? Those are all lanterns that are flying. That's what we're here to do. So we got four sides. We got red for health, we got white for future, and we have purple for exam, I guess that's it. So we're gonna have a lot of good luck in a lot of different aspects of our lives soon. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking. Get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for 
so that was my first time lighting up a lantern and letting it fly. That was so cool. Just like in the movie Tangled, you know, when they let up the lanterns for Rapunzel. That was super nice. Let's ask a eight-year-old what she thinks. I loved it. You loved it? Yes. It's dirty. It's dirty. Okay. Out of ten, how many thumbs up? A ten. Ten thumbs up. Ten out of ten? Yes. All right, so that concludes our day of exploring things to do around Taipei. So we had a blast today. It was very hot, but we still did quite a few things. Uh, we love doing the lantern and letting it fly. That was amazing, right? Ten stars. Ten stars and for that. And we also saw a pig. Cutest we just pig. saw a little baby pig just Cutest right here. The wolf. <laughs> So if you like the footage, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for the notifications. And stay tuned for more content from the GoTo family from Taipei and from yeah, Taipei, Taiwan and around the world. See ya.